so I'm here at Grady. I was in the overseas for some other work, so I miss a lot of overnight work that Grady guys did. But the car is pretty much done right now, so today I'm here to check it out and do some test driving. What up, what up? What's up? Oh my god, looks great! Kenji's still working on it as we're speaking. <laughs> Last minute touches. Man, this looks a lot more than what I expected. And this might be one of the car I feel like it's really looks more crazier than you know the rendering or the like, picture. Because you guys sent me the picture, but this is in person it's, it's crazy. Yeah, so we had a Nisbo whole kit, but when we uh, mock up the, the kit, I didn't really like the, the rear bumper design. It okay. seems like a little too bubbly. And uh, side skirt with the door panel is a little too much to me. So ended up uh, just using the front bumper and the side skirt itself. Um, it looks actually really good. And then from the back, without the, the Nismo bumper, it looks a little bit more like compact. And I feel like uh, this is the best combination so far. So that's why we did it. So, you know, this is designed by John Seval. Stripe, it's kind of like a, you know, 400R inspired, but this is our own version. And Town 14 logo is here because Town 14 has been, you know, providing a lot of parts. Um, and Grady, of course, they built the car right here. And, you know, we partner up with Top Rank, so their logo's right here. And all the other part sponsors, the partners are on the hood. And this is Garage Active. Hood. You ready to see under the hood? Holy <laughs> shit. Wow. It looks super clean. A saddle. No like crazy car or anything, which up the, the engine bay as he's still working on something right there. <laughs> He's been not sleeping last like few weeks, so maybe he doesn't want to be on the camera, but <clears throat> Oh man You got the first stroker motor from us, so this is a 2.8 Yeah, it's got all the bits and uh, drive-by-wire OS ADH sequential, paddle shift, our new turbo kit This is what you asked for, kind of a smaller yep. This is a GP64R So it'll give you mid-range response uh, Make good power, so right now it's on E85, yep. so it should be pretty fun. Cool. So uh, I ordered the, the clear side marker from Nismo. This one and uh, also the, the one in the, the bumper, the circle one, mm -hmm. but it's still uh, on the way and it should be here today or yet tomorrow, so it should be changed before SEMA, but at the moment we still have the OE orange lens right now. And also, you know, we got the EBS GTLM mirror, which most of my car has this mirror because I really like the design. So just the mirror well, doesn't really do well, but now it's perfect combination. Looks great. Cool, man. So I think enough about outside. So let's get into the inside. <laughs> right, Lee. So yeah, it's very simple interior. Okay. Okay, so no, I you can start it like normal. The key I? still starts the car and turns off the car, so just... So that sound you hear is the air pump. So you, this is the OS88 sequential, but it's air shifted. Yep. So you need air to shift it. So that's what's pumping up. And once it hits its own pressure, it'll turn off. So you'll hear it come on and off as you drive. Okay. Um, you can see that you're in neutral, so you can go ahead and start it. Right. This is the one of the, the coolest mods of the car. It's the uh, air shifting, paddle shifter, everything. So this this one doesn't really it's, it's not really a mechanical. It's a switch. It's just a button or something. Yeah. Like. So they use the the simulator shifter, and then it does the same thing. It's crazy. Yep. So the basic setup is you have a Haltech R5 ECU PDM, and then a Haltech IC7 digital dash. Yep. You also have a keypad from Haltech in the armrest. So, go through the first feature is basically the dash, which you look at all the time. Mm -hmm. If you turn the key to the on position. Yep. So this is a fully customizable 
display. You can change what you're looking at, alarms, uh, the colors, a lot of things about it. And if you hit the up or down arrow, you mm -hmm. can go through the different views of how it can look. Oh, wow. So there's the single, then there's a dual version. Oh, nice. Oh, this is like uh, more like Old what school. I used to, yeah. <laughs> so it even has features like parking brake. You see the big P. Mm -hmm. It has blinkers. If you hit hazard right now because the car's off. Oh, wow. All right. Yep. Uh, high beam, all those little things. And if, when you turn on the lights, the dash will dim so you know the lights are on. Uh huh. And then, yeah, we've set up alarms so, like, if you were to go into a uh, high oil temp or something, alarm would show on the dash to give you a warning. Can we yeah. do like shifting without Yeah, the... so this is a uh, upshift. Yep. The other side is downshift. Yep. And you also have the same thing in the center console, which is pull back is the upshift, push yep. down is a forward is a downshift. But this is not a manual, this is a, I mean, a mechanical, it's a switch, right? right? This is a, yeah, it's basically acting as like a, a micro switch. So right. it doesn't move right or side to side, it just moves forward and backwards. And it's actually a piece from like a video game sim. Because all it needs to actuate the air shifter is a signal. Right, right. It can be just a switch. You could bottom. even have a, a button if you wanted. It, <laughs> did, it didn't really matter, but Dai wanted to have kind of a, a gear shift knob still, so that yeah. when he's, I guess, relaxed driving, he can have one hand arm down. Well, it looks cool too, right? Because you, you, yeah, we could just de delete this section, but I wanted to have something like this. This looks like a car to me, you know? <laughs> All right, you hear that sound? <laughs> it's got a full stereo system from Pioneer. You're sitting in the nice Recaro Speed Vs. I think uh, we tried to go for a nice clean look on the interior for you. Yeah. Perfect. Which you said was very important. You liked the touch and the feel and actually the yeah. steering wheel that you're touching is the first of a Grady Momo collaboration. Cool man. So this is uh, number 00 of 400 which will be out uh, cool. next year. There you go, Fire it up! Alright! driving. explain this but this is exactly what I wanted it's just like modern version of R33 with a lot of power so and it's right now still you know just the beginning right like they can like fine-tune and we can dial all the like tuning I think it's gonna be super super fun car to drive Man, 
minutes is crazy. But at the same time, kind of nervous because you know we're gonna shift the car to SEMA tomorrow. Can I have anything wrong? Nothing. This is super low, so I gotta be like really careful driving. You know, can I have any accident? So that's kind of killing me right now. But how does she feel, dude? She's gorgeous. I will show you. Your box will be a lot more louder. It's not. It's not it's, bad. It doesn't really bother me at all. I think the turbo spool is louder than the the gear whining on the transmission. Yeah. So I just got back from the first testing with the R33. Man, the car is amazing. It's way more than I expected, to be honest. So I just gotta thank all the gritty guys who's working super late last few weeks. And I know Kenji and Phil didn't really sleep, Kevin as well, but thank you so much. Uh, the car is, yeah, it's exactly what I want or even more than that. Um, but anyways, the car is ready to SEMA. We just shot the beauties, everything, so Tomorrow, car is gonna be leaving, and it's gonna be at the Town 14 booth. So if you're gonna go to SEMA, please check out because the in-person the car is a lot even better. So I want you to see it. Um, but it's not the ending; it's actually the starting. SEMA after SEMA, we're gonna do uh, track testing. I'm gonna do more like street driving, and I think we're gonna still keep uh, tuning the car. I think it's gonna be even better and better. So please check back. We'll do more content from now on. So. Um, yeah, and I just want to thank everybody who's involved in this build, Town 14 Distribution, Top Rank and Grady, and all my partners who are making this build possible. Thank you so much. And also thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll do more video from now on, so please check back and see you on the next one. Jadne. <laughs>